Hey now, welcome to Freedom Sufferer Cards video number, oh man, oh man, and today I said, I said, BAM, 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 we have received our graded cards, compliments of Mintink, and SGC forces come dang fine. There should be 11 cards in here. I know the result of one that was brought to my attention. Plenty of static, let me tell you. All kinds of static, man. But first, let me give it a huge shout out. Mintink. I've given them plenty of shout outs. Well deserved, I may add. They are your go to hobby store in the GTA for one but they are outstanding they are very helping even with things like in-store help for grading you know, they will give the card a wipe they will give you their opinions they've got every sport and non-sport you could think of man. and if they don't let them know they will see what they could do by getting an order off for you they've got group breaks they've got personals after dark breaks man I'm telling you, multiple camera angles so you could see what's going on. But most importantly, most importantly, they are all about the hobby. Trust me, they are helping. They've got trade nights. They ship to me without problem, without issue. Plenty of giveaways there as well. I will leave a link for their Instagram and their YouTube. You could see what Team Mintink has been up to now. All right. Now, I'm going to try to get the one card out of here that I know about. It's a problem. It is a problem. It is not Mintink or SGC's problem. It is my problem, man. We'll tell you. I'll tell you. As I'm getting into this box, off screen, I got a card before the hobby started, before it, not started, before it blew up again. You know, we're talking about three years ago, around there, that time frame. From Portugal, of Cristiano Ronaldo, got a couple of cards, including an autograph and a relic card, but the relic never made it over to me. And this cost me, in total, cost me like 10 euros, which was ridiculous. That's why I say before the hobby blew up from Portugal and it didn't make it. So he gave me a refund on like, I did get all the other cards, autograph and everything else, but I didn't get the relic. So he sent me a replacement card and gave me a refund, the equivalent of what was left over. Now, this card was one of the ones I decided to get graded. It is a relic of Cristiano Ronaldo from his days in Man U, his first go-around. It's a beautiful card. I wasn't sure if they were going to grade it because it's a European company, Futera Cards. Beautiful Futera Cards that they are, man. All right. But... Did it get graded? It got slabbed. I'll tell you that much. It got slabbed. So let us pull these out without spoiling anything. Is that possible? That is if we go like this. Okay. All right, man. Let me just get something to protect this. Some kind of decoy all right thanks randy so here we go what is this there you go lamenting information for you i've gone to both locations last time i only went to this one multiple times in one day and that's the other location. So there you go. And beauty minting stickers can never get enough of these. I said. So I'm going to 
looks like I saw the grading is on the top there. All right. I'm going to see if I could find that card in question. There it is. Here it is, man. So, <clears throat> you will see this beautiful card. Absolutely beautiful card. Cristiano Ronaldo. Get my face off there. There you go. Cristiano Ronaldo. You can see that in all of its glory. Take a look at the back there. Numbered. It says, from the 0506 season, away match. Beautiful, beautiful card. All right, man. But what ended up happening here? Oh, what a bummer. I'm telling you, it is big time bummer, but let's see. Bam! Authentic. Yes, that's good, but no grade, no number. It says evidence of trimming. So this guy, I tell you, I definitely didn't trim it, and if I did, why would I put it in for grading? I'm not that crazy. I'm crazy. I'm definitely crazy. Let's not get any confusion here, but I would not be that crazy. So this guy, I can't reach him. Apparently, this card is trimmed. Now you see it's a little bit loose. Apparently, this card is trimmed. I did not know that. It was not picked up by anyone there either. Had I have known this was trimmed, I would not have got it slapped. But now that I see this, I cannot. This is the one time you will hear me talk anything finances on this channel. All right, man. This is one that I was planning on one day probably getting rid of. But now that I see this, I could not, I cannot break this slab open and just sell it to somebody like nothing's wrong. I'm going to keep it like this. Evidence of trimming. It is still authentic. It is still a beautiful card. Game worn. Memorabilia of possibly one of the greatest, if not the greatest, of his generation and one of the greatest of all time. Cristiano Ronaldo. So that, that's a bummer. It's over. It's out of the way. That's the only one I knew about. And I'm glad I knew because had I not have known, <laughs> who knows what kind of reaction it would have been. So let me know your thoughts. What would you do if you were me? It is gold. It is extremely rare. Ronaldo, Mem, it is authentic. Would you crack this open and try and send it elsewhere? I wouldn't. I'm telling you, if it SGC says that there's evidence of trimming, I believe them. It's just, it, it is a big, big disappointment. Man. Original seller, you got static, man. Now, maybe it wasn't, maybe it wasn't him, Randy. You don't know. Oh, uh -huh. maybe, maybe it was the other guy he got it from, right, man? You don't know that, man. Coward, man! Randy, we don't know. We don't know what happened, all right? Calling you the coward, man. Uncalled for. All right, Randy, get back, get back doing your thing, man. Now let's get to the real stuff here. Grades, I don't know. This little man, I am assuming. Oh, here we go. We got one of these minis graded from Rourke. Now, all of the ones I chose to get graded have since been replaced as in, as singles because I did not want to break the set. But I could have gone for... Oh, man, come on, face! I could have gone for um, something that could have got a 9 or a 10, but I went for the bigger names rather than the better conditioned cards so i know there's a good chance i'm gonna get ones and twos for these i've seen seen how they grade the little guys all right 6.5 i'm happy with that i'm happy with that 1973 broken bond neil armstrong sit star power man very happy with that better than i expected there you go very nice. First mini in a slab. I love it. Very, very happy with that. Now, the first time around, we got 10s because we had a bunch of young guns and, and the like. We are not going to be getting 10s this time. Well, there was one young gun I put in, so there's a chance. But 
That's the only one that there's a chance of. I've only put one young gun, if I remember correctly. And here we go. Next card up, it's another mini. You can see there's some damage in those corners, a little bit of static. No problem at all, man. Galileo. Oh. All kinds of star power, man. Now, this one is really old. It's much older than the other one. We got from 1936, we got a four. That's better than I expected. Like I said, I was expecting a two. We got a four. Very good condition to excellent. Famous miners, Galileo, 1936, in a dang slab, man. Come on. Come on, man. Four. That is two better than I expected. Let us see. What is next? Another mini? There should be three minis. So this is the last mini. Probably the worst condition of, of them all. Mozart. Ultimate. Musical star power, man. Quite the composer himself. We got a five! Wow! I expected a two. And we got a five. I expected this one to be the worst one. A five. Famous miners, Mozart. Loving it. All right, man. Very happy with that. Now that should be our last... Mini. Oh, we got Adam Fox. So this is our only chance at a 10. I would be extremely happy with a 9, 9.5. That's what I'm all about. That's my kind of life, man. Looks like I haven't been showing you guys the grades. I've just been announcing them. So let us see. Oh, I sit, I sit, I sit. Star power, man. We got ourselves a dang 10. That takes the sting away of that Ronaldo a little bit. Wow. 10 in the books. So we got that out of the way. Did get a 10. Looks like we got some cards here. And Tink cards. There you go. If you all want a skin, bam, bam, bam. There you go. All right. Now. Oh, Wendell Clark. You can tell right away. This is my, one of my grail cards. My favorite player of all time. That's, this is, there's no chance this is going to be a 10. Because it is an OG card. That corner already didn't look good. I'm hoping for a 7 or up. Let's make that I will be disappointed if it's under a seven because otherwise it still looks good there's like a little bit on the edges there oh man ultimate star power favorite player of all time not the tops we're talking the true OPG I said I said bam we got ourselves an eight that is perfect for me I love it course this slab is going nowhere there's all kinds of fog going on here because i was just outside and now it's warm and you know what goes on but i assure you the slabs are perfect now here we go we got another one okay this is the messy rookie international rookie sticker this is not also not probably not going to be a great grade, but I wanted it slapped. So you see, it is not well centered. There you go. Look at them all young, man. And their stickers. So, what do we got here? All right, we got a seven. I'll take it. I'll take it. I was hoping for. At least an eight or something, but that would be hard with a sticker. There you go. We got ourselves a seven. Messy rookie. Can't complain. Can't complain. The only sticker I have, rookie sticker I have of his, so it's not like I could have chose a different one, but here we go. What do we got here? Oh, this is a beauty. This was pulled 
by Minting, Carlo Koliakovo, Johnny Napalm. Man, I'm telling you. This is a beauty. This is a beauty of a card. One can say this is a great card. There is absolute greatness. I, these don't grade well, I've been told. That patches don't grade well. Johnny, optical mint cards there. He knows, he tells you as well. Because these cards are black and the edges are white, you could see this is not going to be, I don't know, raw this stuff was going. This was a, a pretty pricey card. I'm very grateful to have a Wayne Gretzky patch, manufactured or not, Team Canada. It is a rare, it is a beautiful hit. And that's an 8.5. All right, man. I like that. I like that. Can't lie. Not gonna lie. We have ourselves what I think is a case hit. Beautiful card, Wayne Gretzky, 8.5. Team Canada patch. Oh, man. All right, what do we got here? We got a little bit more Wayne Gretzky. This one, I have never seen these graded well, but again, it is a Wayne Gretzky. This one is a game used patch. It is a duel with Glenn Anderson. There you go, absolute greatness. It is numbered to 50. Very, very cool. And it is an eight. That's more along the lines of what I would expect. This one got a 0.5 higher than what I was expecting, but an 8. Very happy with that. Only 50 of these made. We got Glenn Anderson and Wayne Gretzky. Game used jersey pieces. Beautiful. Two left. Not know what we got here. Okay, this will be our Chandler autograph. Pulled here on the channel on the hobby box gifted by the Farnamy one, Julie Farnham. Now, as you see, this is not centered well. Where they put that sticker auto, I don't know how that's gonna grade, but the card itself looks pretty good. And, I mean, it's a Chandler, Michael Chandler autograph. Here we go. I'm thinking an eight, maybe 8.5. Oh, man, the auto got, got a 10. Strange. Okay, maybe they, they just graded the autograph itself, not where it was placed. And the card got a 9. That's way better than I expected. 10 and a 9. Alright. Now our last one. I believe it's a sticker. 11 cards get graded. Yeah, this is the Undertaker rookie. Dead man walking me. I know, Randy, you two should have had an excellent rivalry. I don't know, Vince, opportunity missed. Oh, coward, man. Is that to me or to Vince? Vince this time, man. All right, here we go. An Undertaker sticker rookie. I mean, it looks good. It looks good for a sticker. But there was one of the corners that was a little fuzzy. I don't, that looks like here on the side on the edges a bit beautiful undertaker sticker rookie from merlin bam we got ourselves a six now i say that is under what i expected i expected this one to be a seven or an eight but all in all i'm very happy i'm very happy with them it is still an Undertaker rookie, which is hard to find. Merlin, sticker, beautiful. I love it. Now, a recap, of course, the one that started it off. Troublesome, authentic, evidence of trimming. Let me know in the comments what you would do with that. You would just keep it like this. I mean, if I do decide to get rid of this one day, I have, there's a few people that have already expressed interest. If I do decide to do that, it will be as is, letting them know that it has been trimmed. I'm not going to put a fast one over on anybody. I think that's a dirty move. Plenty of static, but it is what it is. All right. I hope you liked this and enjoyed it. If you did, please give the video a like. Subscribe if you're not subscribed.
subscribe and leave a comment. Yo. Thanks, Randy. Appreciate that. If you would do that, let me know maybe what was your favorite slab. Were they cool? Did they pass the cool test? Do you disagree? Do you agree with those grades? Let me know. I'd be very curious. And of course, on that Ronaldo. Oh, man. Oh, man. Is what it is. Now take good care of yourselves. Don't forget. Don't forget. Minting. Check them out. I would appreciate that. Check out SGC, too. They are honest, as honest as it comes, man, from what I've seen so far. Now, take good care of yourselves. Take good care of those around you. Don't put anybody in the danger zone. You wouldn't want any static now, would you, man? Like the original guy that sold that or gave it to you. Unbelievable. Unbelievable, man. I will see you all soon. Here we go, green legs, ready to save lives. Ready to save lives. Good stuff, you got this right up here. Life-saving equipment, perfect. Good job, Greeny.